I'm Anil Kumar. Before getting into details with working questions on normal distribution, let us first understand the basic curve. When we define random variable for continuous data, in that case, if it follows a normal distribution, we can always write x, the random variable, as distributed normally and that normal distribution can be defined with just two parameters one of them is the mean and the other one is variance so i'll write standard deviation square as the variance right so that is how any normal distribution data will be represented so here we have the basic uh, definition about it the notation normal distribution which is defined by these two parameters the first one mu is the mean and sigma square mu means the mean and sigma square is standard deviation squared or the variance is it okay so i hope that part is very clear now normal distribution curve as you know is a bell-shaped curve we'll try to sketch this normal distribution curve for some parameters. So we have taken different values of mean and sigma and we'll see how they are similar and how are they different. So the question here is to sketch normal distributions for n, 0, 1, the other one normal distribution for mean equals to 6 and variance 4 which is 2 square and then normal distribution for curve which has mean value of minus 5 and variance of 9. So let's make a scale. So when we are dealing with continuous variation, we are actually sketching these curves over an infinitely long line. So that line which I've drawn goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now this line we will represent the normal distribution one by one for each. So let me begin with the first one which is n, 0 is our mean and 1 is the standard deviation. Now that is a normalized normal curve which we will use often to calculate probabilities. Now zero really means here that at zero, let's take zero at this point, okay. At zero, we'll have the mean, mode, and median, all the three central tendencies of the bell-shaped normal distribution curve, right? So that means this. So at this point, we'll have kind of peak, right? So this is, this is what it means. So let me draw this curve with a peak here. Right, so that is the peak at zero. Now when I say one is the standard deviation, it really means that the point of inflection for this peak will be one unit away from the mean. The standard deviation is one unit away. So with this bell curve, which kind of drops symmetrically from the mean kind of like this right so it has two turns so you'll see the concavity is concave down now now in the later half it is like kind of like this do you see that so it becomes concave up so the concavity changes this is called point of inflection right this is the point of inflection where the concavity changes. So let me mark this as point of inflection. So this point which you see here is kind of a very critical point and the distance of this point from the mean is equal to the number of units which we have right there. The standard deviation. So this is standard deviation away from the mean. So that is critical when you sketch the graph. So the mean comes right there where you have 
mean mode and median all the three tendencies for the graph and the standard deviation is a point where the concavity of the curve changes do you see that and you should remember that this curve actually extends till infinity so it never touches the line so that is how it is so from here i'll develop my scale right so so we have this as as one unit now this is minus one for me okay so this is one for me okay so accordingly i'll have a two three four and five let us say this is five okay one two three four five and then we have six here so we'll go up six seven eight nine and ten let us say this is ten for us similarly on this side this is minus one for us so we have minus two minus three minus four minus five this is minus five for us so we'll go further minus six minus seven minus eight minus nine okay okay we'll get back to this scale anyway so what you've learned here is that whenever you want to sketch a normal distribution curve mean you have to start with the mean that is the maximum which is also mean mode and median all three points are same for a normal curve the curve is symmetric about this line right and the point of inflection is standard deviation away that helps you to create this kind of a graph the other thing important about this is that area under the curve is always equal to 1 right so area is always equal to 1 now since we it's very difficult to calculate the exact height for which area could be 1 we'll always leave it by this kind of uh, nomenclature but just saying area is what is good enough okay now let's look into the second graph the second graph for us is with mean of 6 so so we are looking for this value which is 6 for us so mean of 6 so and in this case the standard deviation is 2 now if standard deviation is 2 then let me just draw this line where we'll have the maximum now that means the point of inflection has moved two units not just one so from 6 it moves to 2 kind of here so from 6 2 units so we'll have standard deviation move 2 units away but since the center portion becomes wider so we cannot go so up high assume that this area under this curve is unit 1 square unit then to maintain the same area here this peak has to come down right so this peak comes down so so in this particular case it is going to be a bit flatter do you see that so the concavity for this curve let me sketch it in a different ink okay let's take this color so in this particular case we'll say the concavity is kind of like this like it's kind of flatter and here it changes in this case it changes here do you see that part right so it changes kind of like this so more concentration is on the tails the center portion is wider so that is how it appears when the standard deviation is increased so in this particular case this distance is two units do you see that since sigma value is two two units away from the mean value right so this is our second curve so this is the second curve okay now let's look into the third one now in this particular case the mean is negative 5 so let's get to the point which is negative 5 which is right there so negative 5 so we are going to have mean mode and median here so the peak is going to be along this line however sigma value is is 3 we could write this as n 
minus 5 3 square correct so the deviation is 3 so we'll have the point of inflection 3 units away kind of that far do you see that far so 1 2 3 units away now since it is 3 units away the height of this curve will be much smaller than this one also correct so therefore this graph will keep kind of much lower than what we had this one so we'll keep the maximum height kind of here and the point of inflection is three units away so it's like here three units away normally we'll see that two sigma is what takes care of 95 percent of the data so three so one two three so it can continue to this place kind of two sigma away right so one two three one two three maybe we'll go further doesn't matter so here the concavity is kind of like this concave down and then it changes changes to concave up so it will be kind of like this right so so that is how this graph is going to be so this is for n minus 5 9 which is 3 square so whenever you are sketching these graphs for normal distribution the care which you have to take into consideration is that the mean defines the peak and the point of inflection of this bell curve is decided by the sigma and the area under the curve should always be equal to 1 right where 95 percent of the data actually will appear between two mean positions right away from the mean value two standard deviations away so in the first normal graph it's kind of here right so this is this is minus two and that is two so within this boundary which is mu minus two sigma which is mu plus 2 sigma will have 95 percent of the data so graph should be structured in a manner that most of the data comes within 2 sigma away from the mean both sides I hope that helps you to understand how to sketch normal distribution curve when its parameters which are mean and variance or mean and standard deviation some books write mean and standard deviation that is also fine right but most books will take mean and variance which is the square of standard deviation as the two parameters to sketch normal curves or to work with normal distribution curves i hope it gives you kind of an overview of how to sketch these curves and interpret we'll look into further details with some examples I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.